While COVID-19 levels remain far below those of prior surges, trends are on the rise in parts of the U.S. and there's growing concern that case numbers could soar, soar now that we've passed the winter holidays. And after the holidays, many Americans are considering cutting back on alcohol as part of dry January. Michael George looks at the health benefits and the best ways to succeed. Mahina Douglas loves to socialize, but lately she's been thinking about cutting back on alcohol. I just felt like my drinking was getting, I guess, a little more than I was comfortable with it being. She decided to try Dry January, a month-long sobriety challenge. She even hired a sober coach, Molly Desch. Dry January actually has a ton of benefits. Aside from the health benefits, you know, you'll have cleaner skin, you'll sleep better. You'll also save money. Consumer Insight Group Valink says more than half of Americans say they want to reduce their alcohol intake. A study published in the British Medical Journal shows people who gave up alcohol for one month had significant improvements in their health and lost an average of four pounds. Desh says introducing a new hobby like exercise can help replace drinking. And also have an accountability partner. So if you know somebody that also wants to participate in dry January, boom, sign them up. You guys can text each other throughout the day if you're having a hard time. You can celebrate milestones. Research also shows people who participate in dry January often continue to drink less six to eight months later. Is the hope that the benefits of this will continue beyond January? Yes, very much so. I'm looking for a lifestyle change that I can keep with me forever. Douglas says since she stopped drinking, she's already noticed she's sleeping much better. Michael George, CBS News, New York.